when you're having a short meditation like this, you want to get the most out of the time you've got. So where is your spot? The spot when the mind settles down, it likes to be there. Go straight there. And breathe in a way that feels really good right there. And as for the next breath and the next breath, it's the same thing, right there, one spot, one spot. You don't have to do a lot of thinking, a lot of evaluating. You know your spots. You know your body. You should know how much pressure to put on a spot so that your mind can stay focused there, but you're not putting so much pressure that you're disturbing the blood, disturbing the breath flow. They talk about having a beginner's mind, but it's also good to have an experienced mind when you come to meditate. Go right to what you know is best. Now, if there's any trouble staying there, then you can make adjustments. But take what you've learned and put it into practice right away. Some people say you shouldn't control the mind, just allow whatever to come up to come up. But that's not concentration practice. It's not even mindfulness practice. Mindfulness is keeping the mind established in one frame of reference, like the breath. And concentration is when you're doing your mindfulness successfully. So you do exert some control. You're developing a skill here because you want to be able to watch the mind as it engages in focusing on something. What does it mean to focus on something? What does it mean to pay attention to something? Here's a good place to watch. It's like having a laboratory. You do your experiments in here, and you learn a lot of things about the mind. And you can be very clear about when the mind is moving, where it's moving, how it's moving, why it's moving. When you really get to know the mind this way, then, then you're on the path. It is a path that you put together. On its own, the mind wouldn't find the path. It's not just a natural process. We're going against a lot of natural processes, because greed is natural, anger is natural. Delusion is very natural. We're learning how to steer these natural processes in the right direction. The processes of fabrication, the processes of perception, attention, intention. We want to clear away the defilements. Basically, make nature do what we want. This is the control of nature. And if you learn how to do it skillfully, nature complies. What you find as a result of this is not going to be something you made up. It is in the nature of things that if you develop skillful qualities in the mind to the ultimate degree, you open up to something that's beyond skillful, something that's not fabricated. That is a possibility. But to get there requires that you direct things. Keep yourself rightly directed, as the Buddha said. Make use of the natural things that are good and let go of the natural things that are not. That's how you exercise your discernment.